this point, we're just throwing everything away. I mean, nothing's really salvageable. Everything from appliances to mattresses to toys being piled high along curbs in O'Hara Township. All that stuff ruined when storms brought flash flooding to the region last night. And tonight, homeowners are clearing out and cleaning up their basements. Amy Wattis is live in O'Hara Township on one of the hardest hit streets. Amy. Good evening, and that's right. We are on South Marjorie Street in O'Hara Township. And like you said, one of the hardest hit areas in the township. And I want to show you, you can see people have their personal belongings piled high. You can see a stroller here, mud caked on, a lot of other items people have been storing in their basements and their garages, but they're leaving them out on curbs to air out and dry. And over here, the township is doing what they can to help. You can see this dumpster here behind me. They've been providing dumpsters to folks in the hardest hit areas so they can throw away any garbage they may have. The township has even declared a state of emergency. One day of cleanup for O'Hara Township residents and many more to go. Anything for the team. Seth Bowman was one of a few members of the Fox Chapel High School football team helping his friend's family out. Just digging, carrying wheelbarrows, helping them pull up out all this stuff in the uh, basement. It's never been this bad, even when Ivan came through. Maria Vlahos has lived here for 19 years. She says they lost everything in the basement. The same with her dad's house next door. The water here was up to the rafters. I mean, how much? Probably like a foot of mud at least. This is video her son took on his cell phone. Because the water just came rushing. In a matter of maybe like five minutes, it was two feet in our backyard and then it was up, almost up 20 feet. Across the street, it's just as bad for Antonio Fratangelo. Ran into the basement, I got a couple things out. Uh, I went down for a second uh, run and the doors busted open and kind of trapped me down there for a few few seconds. But what he was mostly concerned about was getting all three of his kids, age three and under, to safety. It was key to get them, you know, all in, in the right place. Oh yeah, Amy's. And back out here live on South Marjorie Drive, you can see the debris, people's uh, items piled high on the sides of the roadway here. Now, township officials, the township manager, I spoke with her over the phone. She said that Squaw Valley Park, a popular park in the area, has also been destroyed. As for roads, they are all back open to traffic. She said they sent a preliminary assessment to Allegheny County. And as for residents here on this street, they just set up a GoFundMe account. We will have that information posted posted on our website at kdka.com. For now, we are live in O'Hara Township tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.